Hello guys, it's Inbox Gaming here with another FIFA tutorial. So I don't know when and where you are watching this video. So good morning, evening, afternoon, whichever whichever time you have right now. So I'm here with another FIFA tutorial to fix your FIFA 23 not launching, like all the issues that will stop it from launching, from Windows settings to your steam i installed the game on steam so steam and like the game installation folder all the tweaks you need to do so first thing you need to do i, I don't install the game on steam like i said before so you have to open your steam so here are my here's my steam library so if you don't have this menu you have to just click on library here then right click here and teach it go to properties um local files you have to verify integrity of game files right here you have to click this so it's just start it just start scanning the game files and like fixing every issues it has if the problem is your game file so this is what it will do so right now i won't do that i won't do that right now so it doesn't so it doesn't take so this video doesn't take much of the time so you have to do, do this first then minimize your steam totally my just seems totally then go to your windows settings windows settings and bring it right up a windows settings find gaming from the left hand corner find gaming here then click on game xbox game bar click this turn this off turn this off turn the overlay off like just turn it off then Go back, um, find this game mode right here, the last one. So turn it off too. And when you are done with this, that's what you have to do with the settings. When you are done with this, close this. Mind you, if you have any overclocking app, MSI Afterburner, like any overclocking app, if you use any overclocking app, please uninstall it. If you have an external antivirus please aside window defender please uninstall that too please uninstall that too for this to work for you if you don't do that it wouldn't work for you so now let's head to my windows defender right here um so all you have to do here you don't have to turn it off totally so all you have to do here is what's your the first option here virus and threat protection Go there and find virus and threat protection settings, which is the second main option here. Just under it, you see manage settings right here. Click, um, scroll down and find um, exclusions, which is the last option here. And you see add or remove exclusions. Click that, accept. So here you have to add the FIFA 23 folder here folder so let me show you how to get to the folder so when it gets this yours should open like this or you just have to click this PC Windows or where which whichever drive you install your FIFA find program files it is this is default installation folder for the for the FIFA 23 game if you install from Steam so Program files 86, um, scroll down, Steam, um, you see Steam apps, common, and here we go, that's your pattern 3 folder, so all you have to do is, let's click once, and select folder here, so that's it, I already have it added here, so it should just stay here like this, um, <coughs> excuse me, that's all for my windows defender you just have to close this and please uninstall every other external and um antivirus you have please install every other antivirus you have and when you are done with that open your steam again same thing click on library button to three um properties local files this time you have to come here browse local files let me make this full screen now here's what you have to do here first off first off you have to 
Now, these two, take note of these two. Eantichi.gameservicelauncher.dll and Eantichi.gameservicelauncher.exe file. So here are both of them. First, you click on the Eantichi.gameservicelauncher.dll, right click, go to properties, then go to digital signatures right here. Now, right click, um, left click on these ones. Let's click on these ones, go to details. Now, come down, look down here, you see this. Sorry. And view certificates, okay. There is, you just have to find these view certificates right here. Let me start from the start. Let me take it from the top. Go to digital signatures, um, left click ones, go to details, um, view certificate right here and install certificate just next 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 don't change anything finish the import was successful okay so you have to repeat the same trick close close you have to repeat the same trick for your e anti the game service launcher exe file right click um properties um digital signatures left click details uh, view certificate install certificate order next next finish and that's all now close this okay okay and next thing you need to do is launch this as administrator so all you have to do is right click launch as administrator okay now you have to say please start the game from origin or EA application click close and when you are done with that go to your the first folder here installer folder go to EA anti cheat folder which is the second one right here now right click this run as administrator okay here this is the EA anti cheat installer setup so all you have to do is hit this drop down menu here so you click your fifa 23 first you need to do is update this click update so it takes some time to do the updates just give it a few seconds it shouldn't take a minute depends on your machine though. depends on your computer files please if you are watching you have come this far don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and um share the video and subscribe to my channel if you are new please this will really help me a lot so it says update success all you need to do now is go back to the drop down menu here go back to the drop down menu click on uninstall right here install and when it says uninstall success click on install again and here it says install success so close this go back and back to your main installation folder now find your fifa 23.exe here this one right here the first one not the trial the fifa 23.exe itself so right click go to properties compatibility right here the compatibility right here now if you have any of this windows ticked please any of this option if you have any of this option ticked mostly this should be ticked on your device so untick this untick this click apply and okay so that's that's about it please don't forget if you have any overclocking app uninstall it if you have any external antivirus uninstall it for, you, for this to work for you and when you do those don't forget to restart your PC before you start this process all over again. So when you are done with this, all you have to do now is launch the game. You can launch it from Steam. Can, let, let's let's go launch it from Steam or EA app, whichever one you want. So let me close this or let me just minimize this. So here's my Steam. Here's my Steam. Let me make this windowed. 
and so let me launch my ea app too so make sure you are logged in on both so if the ea app is giving you issues let me show you what to do if if you are launching and saying you have not purchased the game all you have to do here is just kindly sign out kindly sign out and kindly sign out and sorry and maybe try to close the a okay it's not even open anymore okay, it's not open anymore so you just have to open the a a launcher or whatever i don't know why they took origin from us origin was 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 but it was bugged but i think now we regret the fact that they took it away and brought this nonsense so all you have to do is launch this if you download the game from steam and saying you have to purchase the game so you have to use the steam option to log in into the to, into the to log in your ea account so click steam to open your browser right here now click on signing as my steam account allow So send code to verify your identity. So you have to check your email for the code. I have my email signed in on my mobile phone, so it's easy for me. So let's enter the code. That's a, click on remember this device sign in and to say head back to your to the EA app. So you just have to close this. Remember, this is only for people who the game is saying you have to purchase this app on your e app. Now we are signed in. You see the game is right here. And if it's not here, don't don't put out like don't panic. You just have to launch the game from your Steam from your Steam right here. Library, click on ESports FIFA 23. Click on play to load up and hopefully the game launches right now for some people your nvidia geforce experience overlay might be holding the game not too much so you can turn that off so you can turn off the, the in-game overlay for that for that so well mine i don't think i need that as you can see the game is loading up it has actually loaded up correctly uh, let's minimize this Here we go, the game launched. Click on it to make it full screen. So that's about it for the video. Please don't forget to like. Please don't forget to like the video. Leave leave a comment if it works for you and if it doesn't work for you. Also, you can text me on my Instagram page if you tried every story I have and it doesn't work for you. You can text me on my Instagram page. Link will be on the bio of this video. And please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to subscribe it's really helped me a lot so now there are some people having issues here they're having issues saying the game is not once they click on their profile the game the game doesn't want to open so all you have to do here is click delete here trust me click delete here it doesn't delete your progress or anything it only deletes your profile i mean controller settings or that custom settings that's all it deletes so it doesn't mess with your FUT team, so it doesn't mess with your ultimate team, nothing. So you have to click here is delete, but I think mine is working, so I'll just click enter right here. EA Sports, it's in the game. So as you can see, everything is working properly. I have no issues with the game. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you see again. Good luck. Adios.